Hey, everybody. My name is uh, Lyndon Rive. I'm the CEO of SolarCity. I'm very excited about the products we're going to be announcing today. Uh, the products you'll see is a joint collaboration between SolarCity and Tesla. I want to thank the team for really putting this together in, in such a short amount of time. Really appreciate their help in getting this done. Um, but to really understand the vision, let's welcome Elon Musk. Everybody. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, no fuzzy jack at this time. Um, so the, I would start off uh, by just talking about the, the reason why we're doing this, uh, which is, uh, as you may have read, uh, we're re reaching record CO2 levels. Um, global warming is becoming uh, a serious, is a serious crisis, and, and we need to do something about that. Um, the, the, but just like with electric cars, where you know, uh, electric cars originally, were, they, they didn't look good, they had low range, they didn't have good performance, um, they were like a golf cart, and so people had a real, real hard time buying electric cars. And uh, I think you know, something similar needs to happen to, to solar. We really need to make solar panels as appealing uh, as, as electric cars have become. And the, you know, like the interesting thing is the houses you see around you are all solar houses. I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you, did you notice? Yeah. 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 So yeah. we're talking in, in detail about, about each of them, but the the goal is to make have have electric, or, you know, solar roofs that look better than a uh, normal roof, generate electricity, have, last longer, have better insulation. Um, and actually have a cost, an installed cost, that is less than a normal roof plus the cost of electricity. So then, then why would you buy anything else? Right. So let's get into, we're going to get into the details here. So obviously you saw the, the chart there, probably you're familiar with, with the, that, that chart that came from, from NASA about how we're, we're in vertical climb on CO2 levels. Um, and uh, we, we need to do everything we possibly can to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. Save us, Elon! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so the, the goal of Tesla, Tesla, people sometimes think of Tesla as an electric car company, but, but really the, the, the whole purpose of Tesla was to accelerate the advent of sustainable energy. Um, it's, not as like, it's not like there was a shortage of car companies in the world. There are plenty of good you know, gasoline car companies. Um, but there, there weren't good electric cars. That's, that's really what, what was needed. So there are really three parts to the solution. Um, so we go to what, what is the future that, that we want? Um, it consists of a, a really appealing solar roof, um, then combine that with, with storage and with electric cars. So it's, a three, it's an obvious three-part solution. Yeah, three-part solution. <laughs> Um, it's, it's really not that complicated. Um, now, you need battery packs because the sun does not shine at night. Um, and w the, the point that we're at right now is, in fact, obviously a transition. We're tra transitioning from day to tonight. It's dusk. Um, and so what, what, what's happening is that the, the houses are transitioning from the roof generating power to the battery pack, the, 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 the power wall, producing power. So uh, during the day, you fill up the, the battery, and then at night, and in dusk and dawn, you, you use the battery. Um, it's pretty straightforward, really. It's like, <laughs> not that complicated. Um, you, need, you just need, you need both. Uh, and, but, but if you have solar, a, a great solar roof, and you have a, a battery pack in your house, and you have an electric car, that's something that scales worldwide, that you can, you can solve the whole energy equation with that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, ne next slide, please. So, the, so we'd like to introduce the Powerwall 2. The, th this is a, a big step above the Powerwall 1. Um, it has twice as much energy, um, uh, more than twice as much power. So it's a 14, uh, 14 kilowatt hour energy storage, 7 kilowatt uh, power output. 
Um, and just to put that in, in basic terms, uh, you can take a four bedroom house and you can have, uh, you, can, you can power the, your, your fridge, the sockets and lights uh, for a day. And if you have solar on your, on your, on your house, you can power it indefinitely. So that's just with one. Um, And, and then we're, for, on the utility side, we've got the Power Pack 2, which similarly doubles the, the, uh, the energy. So it's a 210 kilowatt hour uh, capability, 50 kilowatt uh, uh, power output. And this, this can scale to unlimited size. So it's, uh, uh, in fact, we've, we've recently announced the, the, the biggest uh, utility uh, battery installation uh, in the world, which is going to be with uh, Southern California Edison. Let's go to the next slide. Um, so we have an 80 megawatt hour uh, battery installation that's being built right now. So, and then uh, we announced one earlier this year, which is for uh, a utility in Hawaii, uh, doing 52 megawatt hours. You're going to see a lot more of these announced over time. And I think I think it's important to uh, make sure people appreciate that the solution is both. Uh, local power generation and utility uh, power generation. It's not one or the other. Uh, sometimes this, this, the solar roof uh, is positioned as, as a sort of a competitor to, to utilities, but uh, we, we're actually going to need uh, utility power to increase, um, and we're going to need local power generation. Because if you transition um, all um, energy to, to electric, uh, that, that roughly triples the amount of electricity that's needed. So. Um, you need about a third for transport, about a third for heating, and about a third for what we currently use as electricity. So the future is bright for utilities and for local power generation. I would expect it to be roughly a third local power generation, roughly two thirds utilities. So it's, I think it's a very bright future for utilities and for rooftop. So let's take a look at some of these roofs. What, as I mentioned earlier, what we're really looking for here is how do we have a, a solar roof that is better than a normal roof, um, that uh, looks better, uh, lasts longer, has better insulation, insulating effect, and where the cost of roof plus electricity is, is less than that of a normal roof. Now, this is, um, this is sort of the integrated future. You've got an electric car, a power wall, and Solar, and a solar roof. And the key is that it's, it needs to be beautiful, affordable, and, in, and seamlessly integrated. Um, and then if, if, if all those things are, are true, why would you go any other direction? So. so yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're going to show you. This is the before shot of that house over there. So that's what it looked like before. Now that's um, all solar. Nice. Yeah. I think we've got some close-up shots that we can show. And if you look, if you look carefully, you can actually see the, the solar cells behind the glass. So this is a textured glass tile. Um, if you look carefully, you can see the solar, the solar cells. Yeah, you can see that. So we have a malfunction on the LED. <laughs> so, let's look, take a look at the next house. All right, so th that house is also solar, um, and that's a uh, a sort of a style of a, of a French slate, which is one of the hardest things to, to do. It's, it's considered one of the, the best roofs you can possibly do as a conventional roof. So I said, well, if, if can, can we make a French slate roof that's solo that looks as good or, or better than a, than a conventional uh, French slate roof? And we're able to do that as well. Um, th that's done with hydrographic printing. So each tile is unique. So it, it's a uh, the, the, the production process itself makes each tile a special and unique, a sort of special snowflake tile. Um, the, the, uh, but the nice thing is like, no two roofs will be the same. So it's not just cookie cutter. Uh, you, you can take any two roofs like that, and they will look different. 
because they are different. So. This is the, so what the French slate hydrographic looks like. You can see that. And then uh, this, the third house is really transformative. Because um, believe it or not, that's what it looked like before. <laughs> so we, we changed the roof, and it was like, whoa, we put that roof on. We've got to change the house, too. <laughs> so that, that, you know, that, that tile is, is more of a modern look. Um, And here you can really see, as the angle changes, that you can see the solar cells. Um, so um, here we, we, we put a, a film with microlubers on it so that as, as the angle changes, it goes from transparent to opaque. So uh, from the vantage point of the street or n anywhere near the house, it looks completely opaque. But from the sun, it's, to, to the sun, it's transparent. So. And then um, probably the, the most surprising one is the, the Tuscan, Tuscan glass. So this is also solar panels. But we've put two versions of the, the, the Tuscan glass approach. Um, all of the dark tiles have solar panels. So we interleave a dark and light, and then the dark ones are the, the ones with solar panels. <laughs> Again, you can see that uh, the transparency changes quite a bit. So as you from the sun's vantage point, which tends to be high angle, you can see the, the, solar, the solar cells. But as you change the angle to a shallow angle, uh, it reverts to um, a, a sort of an orangey color. <laughs> so. The, so one of the other advantages of, of glass is that we can actually make it a lot, a lot tougher uh, and last a lot longer than a conventional roof. Uh, so we just, as a demonstration video, show you what happens if you drop a, drop a big weight on a conventional roof tile and one of our glass tiles. So. So, so the, the solar roof won't just, uh, we want it to look better, last longer, provide better insulation, and cost less, all things considered, than a conventional roof. Um, there's still a, a, a huge market for uh, the current solar systems, because that if, you, if you're building a new house um, or you're redoing your roof, then this is the way to go. Um, but if, you're, uh, if you have a, a new roof, then you're obviously, you'd, you'd want to put solar panels on that roof. So there's, there's two very distinct markets. And there's about a four to five million uh, new roofs in the US every year. Um, and I think 20 times that number worldwide. Um, so you can imagine over time, as people replace their roofs with solar roofs, that the whole neighborhood, would, would every, everyone would have solar. Like, why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? Over time, every every house would, would become a solar house. Um, and it's, it's a neighborhood where the aesthetics actually get better. So where you look around your, your neighborhood, and that's what you want to have happen. Um, so I mean, the, the key is really to make, to make solar something desirable, where if you install a solar roof on your house, um, you're really proud of it. You want, you want to put it on the most prominent part of the house. You want to call your neighbors over and say, check out, check out the sweet roof. Um, <laughs> it's like not a phrase that you hear often. 
Um, but but, that, but that's, that's the key to it. People, people really care about their homes. They love their homes. Um, and, and they really want, they want them to be better. Um, and I think taking this approach, it, it can be. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that's, that's where we're headed. Um, and I hope you agree that's the future we want.